Google probably has one of the best explanations for recursion for a layman. If you go into the Google search and type in recursion, it says, did you mean recursion? And if you click it, it says, did you mean recursion? And if you click it, it says, did you mean recursion? And if you've never heard this term before, right now you might be a bit confused. But what is not confusing is this movie called Groundhog Day. And if we search that, something very similar happens. Google says, did you mean Groundhog Day? And if you click that, it says, did you mean Groundhog Day? And if you click that, basically just go and watch the movie at this point. But if you are a programmer and are already familiar with the term recursion, then you might also be familiar with this old HTML tag called Marquee. This might take you back to your GeoCities days where every single website used to have some form of scrolling text powered by this HTML tag that is actually no longer supported by modern browsers. And speaking of things that are no longer supported by modern browsers, another tag is the blink tag. And Google will blink some of the portions that are there on screen, but fortunately, hopefully not give anybody any seizures. And if you are old enough to remember the blink tag, then you might also know of the hacker symbol which is a glider from the Conway's Game of Life, which if you search within Google, starts playing within the browser. And the key reason why this game is loved is because from randomness somehow emerges structure. Speaking of randomness, you can flip a coin within Google as well, which is a nice way to make solid technical decisions when you are on your Zoom call. And if you need to make a technical decision between more than two options, there is a pretty neat random number generator built into Google as well. Search for RNG and then you can tweak the min and max values and click generate to generate random numbers between that range inclusive as many times as you want. And another way to generate random numbers is to roll a die. By default, it will roll a single six sided die, but you can actually roll other forms of dice as well. And you can even compound them if that is something that you need to do. There are plenty of other neat games built into Google as well. So if you have some time to kill, you can always play tic-tac-toe. And by default, it will assume that we are in our mom's basement playing by ourselves. But if you are IRL and still on a computer with a friend, you can use this drop down to select play with a friend. And the key to winning tic-tac-toe is to always start at the center. I'll wrap things up there. Unlike this particular video, we normally cover programming tutorials on this channel. So if you want to build your own random number generator like rolling a dice, or even if you want to build your own tic-tac-toe, we've got you covered. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more coding tips and I will see you in the next one.